guys, welcome back. Today we're going to be looking at a little trio. This is the Sparkle and Shine subscription box. This trio includes three indie polishes that were made specifically for this month's September's theme, which is Haunted Forest. The makers in this box include Wildflower Lacquer and Nailed It, and then the guest maker this month is Ethereal Lacquer. So we're going to swatch through all three of these polishes. I'm super, super excited to show them to you. The pre-order for this box is from the 16th of September through the 23rd at midnight, and then shipping takes place two to three weeks after the pre-order. You can get the whole box of three polishes for just $30 plus shipping. And there's going to be a giveaway happening in the Sparkle and Shine Facebook group on the 12th if you would like to go take part in that. The winner will be announced on the 15th. So without any further ado, we're going to go ahead and start swatching. I'm going to go in alphabetical order of brand name, so that means that we get to start with Ethereal Lacquer. As I mentioned, Ethereal Lacquer is the guest maker this month for the Sparkle and Shine subscription box. The September theme is Haunted Forest and Ethereal Lacquer has created us a polish called Ashwood. And this is a beautiful gray with divine sparkling aurora shimmer. The description says, a gossamer cashmere with hints of taupe and a strong shifting shimmer, which for me, I'm seeing the red, gold, green shift. And it is in a lighter base, so the shimmer isn't going to be glaringly bright. It's just gonna settle into this beautiful gray shade and give a kind of soft, eerie look to it, which is super, super pretty. So this first one is Ashwood by Ethereal Lacquer. in this month's box is called Dead of Night and this is from the brand Nailed It and this is a thermal polish. This one is described as a colorless to black thermal with red to gold ultra chameleon chrome flakies, red to green crystal flakies, and a subtle copper to green shimmer. So this one is so cool you guys. It does have a colorless to gray shift but for me i am kind of warm blooded so everything tends to stay in the warm state um unless it is super super cold winter time or something but it doesn't get that cold where i live in any case when i was wearing this i wore this for a couple days and so it was in its clear state on me but i loved it it gives this beautiful glow that kind of copper to green glow in the aurora shimmer it looks so stunning it pairs super nicely with the coordinating chameleon flaky that was used so they kind of have the same shift giving the same glow and then also you're getting a lot of that red and bronze from the multi-chrome flaky as well this one is super super pretty if you're worried about this one losing its thermal property at all i know that's a kind of a thing with thermals i thought it was so beautiful in its clear state i just was in love with it i was driving around while i was wearing it actually and i couldn't stop looking at my nails you guys the final polish in this trio is from the brand wildflower lacquer and this one is called Wicked Thicket. And this one is described as a teal base with purple to copper to green Aurora Shifting Shimmer and red to gold Aurora Shifting Shimmer, scattered ultra chameleon chrome flakies that shift from red to gold. So I love that this, I love that the makers of this box, they all use some similar components. There's definitely that red to gold shift going on in all of these polishes. This one does definitely add a lot of color to the trio as well, um, but it does have the same ultra chrome flakies as the second polish that we looked at and the same shimmer, at least one of the shimmers is the same, and then you have an addition of that um, purple to copper to green, which is really, really pretty, giving this beautiful pink glow. So this one is definitely a two to three coater, depending if you want to do three coats, you could build up the saturation of that teal color, and then you would get even more shimmer and flaky on the nail. So up to you. Anyway, so this one is Wicked Thicket from Wildflower Lacquer, and that rounds out the trio. This is the September Sparkle and Shine box. It's coming available on September 16th, so make sure you set your calendar. It is a pre-order, meaning that the sale will happen, and then they will ship out all the boxes when the makers have all made their polishes, and then they're sent to one location, and that person fulfills all the orders. So anyway, if you would like to try this box and support these three indie makers, I think this one is really beautiful, especially if you like some spooky stuff. So that is going to be it for today's review. Thanks for joining me today, you guys. The description bar below has the website where you can go to 
shop for these polishes when the time comes and I really appreciate you being here. So I will see you back for another one very soon. Take care until then. Bye!